this coastline um, in the southwest is absolutely fantastic and totally unique. Um, one of the things I love about it is a combination of the, um, the, the the limestone we've got here and also the granite um, and, and the formations it makes for surfing. Yeah, I, um, I actually always carry the fishing rule stick with me because um, our fish stocks here are fairly limited. Um, we've got a fairly low nutrient ocean and uh, we need, really need to look after and protect our fish. So I don't take too many fish. I also um, use that fishing ruler to um, just measure my fish up so I know which are the right size ones. Limits. There was no limits on fishing because it was near, next to no people fishing. And the, and the fisheries department hadn't, um, I guess, had any um, problems with with overfishing in those days because there was there was there wasn't that many people fishing, you know. So there was no sustainability issues and 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 fish species that were in you know in, in jeopardy. is amazing it's um it's just so empty like these big stretches where you don't see a, a house or even any roads um it's you can get just fantastic um scenic um views and um just areas of really untouched beauty it was no problem you know we didn't we weren't aware of a problem the environment was the environment everything seemed in place This is the future of your kids. If I look at, say, look 15 years down the track, when I'm going with my grandson, I can be expressing to him how it was 40, 50 years ago and what's occurred in that time and how he can contribute. I think we've got a huge responsibility um, to keep this, this area as pristine as we found it now for the next generation. Um, it's just incredible to be able to come down and enjoy a place like this and um, the thought of, of someone else not being able to do that because it's been trashed. I think the kids of today are a lot more informed, a lot probably more conscious of the environment because it's become a problem. I think now um, that there's so many more surfers down here, like this area, the surfing population's exploded like most places around the world. Um, there's a lot more responsibility um, on the surfers to use the infrastructure that's there to, um, to make sure you're doing the right thing to, um, to park in the, the right bays, to stay off the dunes, and just go there and really um, look after what you've come to enjoy.
And now that, you know, the generations have changed, my dad was surfing here only with a few others, say, 30 years ago. Now there's a lot more people surfing here. And uh, the mindset has really changed. We've, um, we've got to a point now where really surfers need to have a minimal impact on the environment. And uh, even better than that, we need to actually have a positive impact.